and welcome back. I got a lot of moving room now that I'm standing up to film again, but today we're doing something a bit different. Finger guns. We are going to be talking about every single book I own on my shelves that I have not read yet. Coming later this week we are also going to have a bookshelf tour because I was like I gotta split these up into two books because if I'm showing you on my shelves the books that I haven't read you will just see my bookshelves but I did want to split it up because people have been asking for an updated bookshelf tour because I have been culling so many of my books. Now because of that you would think that I have less books that I have on my shelves that I haven't read but that is absolutely 100% a lie. This is the only shelf that you ever see in my videos. I have a shelf behind you, I have a shelf next to my bed, and my actual bed are some bookshelves. So I have quite a few books lingering that I haven't read and my goal of 2020 was to get that number down so I thought it'd be fun to look back on this video and have them. What I'm gonna do is pull books off my shelves and talk about them and let you know which ones I have or haven't read. The only ones I'm not going to address are actually my comic books because I read those as obviously they're one-offs, they're very quick, uh, <clears throat> they don't really take a whole lot of thought in reading them. Unfortunately I feel like they made me feel things but most of the times comic books are just comic books. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and pull books and show you exactly how many I have. I will keep a running number here on the somewhere on the screen of how many books I own that I haven't read in my collection. This is going to be a long video so I hope you have like a drink or something to eat. I don't know if I'm gonna linger too long on talking about the books but we're gonna go ahead and get started. Book number one, the weirdest book I think I have on my shelves currently, is The Hidden Power of Fucking Up by the Try Guys. Try Guys are hands down one of my favorite YouTube channels. There was a thing going around about like channels you watch that are not booktube related and this is one of them. I love the Try Guys. They do so many weird and random different things and this is just basically the hidden art, the hidden power of fucking up. I think that this is a lot about them trying new things and failing and kind of how they were able to tame that and become the best versions of themselves. So this is book number one. All right, the next few books that we have are actually manga. So I have, again, volume four. This is book number two. This is obviously fourth in the series, but I still have not read it. That is a sports manga, if you are at all interested. Uh, the next three things that I have here are actually light novels. Light novels are, I'm not 100% on them, but I think they are Sometimes mangas or mangas, manga, let me get that right before everybody comes for me. They are either manga who are, that are turned into like longer light novels or they are just light novels themselves. Um, I do have Bakamonogatari though. I have one, two, and three. So I guess those are books two, three, four, and five. I should probably stop counting and just keep track of this later, but whatever. Um, number six, I think, is Escape Journey. This is a yaoi <laughs> manga. Um, it is very adult rated. I remember me and a friend on Instagram bought this and we were both excited to read it. I think she's already read it. Um, and I remember flipping through the pages and seeing a straight up butthole. So we'll see if I ever get around to it. It is a gay romance, obviously. Um, I have A Silent Voice. I don't remember what I already can't remember what book number this is. Another manga, this is about a girl who I think like her best friend, something, I don't, you know, really honestly, I don't know. My roommate gave it to me to read and I really do need to read it. Um, the next one that I have is Bloom Into You and this was a recommendation from Natalie. Um, I will leave her channel down below and I do need to read this because it sounds super cute. I remember her talking about it and me being like, yes, I will love that. I think it's another like romance or finding yourself kind of book. The next thing that I have is a book that I need to read because I love, love, love the anime so much and I own the first two volumes of this and I need to actually get the other ones, but you Full Metal Alchemist number two. And these are the fancy like new ones that they did that have like the crazy art and they're hard covers and they're beautiful. I have the first one on my shelves, but I still haven't read this one unfortunately, which is sad because like I said, I do really love them. The next two books that I have are Star Wars books. One that I have already started and one that I have not. I don't remember what either of these are even about, but I was reading them in chronological order. I'm still reading them. I'm not giving up yet, um, but I kind of forget exactly what they're about. First one is Fatal Alliance by Sean Williams. This is one of the ones that I had already started. I'm gonna have to just restart because the Star Wars universe is incredibly extensive and confusing. I did read Revan and I have also read Deceived. Yeah, Deceived. Deceived was my favorite. Um, you guys know I've already talked about those on my channel, but I love the Star Wars books, so I'm making my way through the Old Republic. So I have Fatal Alliance, and then I also have Annihilation, which has the ugliest cover I have ever seen. And once again, I don't remember what number books these are, but somewhere on the screen there will be a count for you guys. 
The next book I have is a honkin book that I was super excited to get in my book of the month but for some reason still haven't read it. and I think it's because it's so large and because the main character is so young but it would be imaginary friend. Like I said this book is massive. It is the size of my face but I have been really excited to read it. I know a lot of people have read it and loved it. It's like 50-50. People either love it or hate it but I'm hoping it's a book that I'm going to love. It's pretty spooky as well if I'm not mistaken. I also didn't consider how absolutely wrecked my shelves are going to be after this. So before I do my bookshelf tour, I'm going to have to put everything back together. Sticking with book of the month theme, I do have a few that I haven't read. So I have Things in Jars. This is a book that I got because the cover was really pretty. I'm just going to be completely honest. We're going to be an honest booktuber right now. I thought it was really pretty. There's no reviews. I haven't read any reviews. I don't know what it's about. Um, then I have Gods of Jade and Shadow, which is a book about a girl who... I think it's modern day and she releases some of the like Aztec kind of gods. I'm pretty sure this has been on my list to read for a very long time. I was so excited to read it and then COVID happened and I was just like I need to put basically everything out of my mind. There's no way I'm going to be able to read this right now which is sad because like I said I was super excited for it but I'll get around to it eventually. And then the next two I have are actually books from a subscriber. She brought them into my old job because that's actually how her and I met and how she found my channel and you know she reads a lot to her and I got talking that way. So there are two books that she gave me. First one is Spinning Silver. I don't know if this is the first in the series which is part of the reason why I haven't picked this up. I've heard really good things about Naomi Novik so we'll see what I think of it but this cover is hands down one of the most beautiful covers I have ever seen as well. If you've read this let me know what you think of it and let me know if it's the first in the series or if there's other books I need to pick up. Um, the next one is actually a thriller and I've heard good things about this. It's The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager and this is like I said a thriller. Um, she gave it to me because I said I wanted to start reading thrillers and I still haven't read it which is kind of bullshit because I've had a lot of time over the last two weeks to read something and I feel like this should have been at the top of the list. Also a disclaimer I do have a few books at Rocco's house. I have a small bookshelf at his house which has my most like want to read books right now so those are also there uh so unfortunately I don't really have like those to talk about as well as I recently did a haul of library books and other books I'll list here those are not going to be in this either because those are on like a random they're on my what do you call it uh a uh, book cart thing that sits next to my chair so I'm not going to talk about those either because I have talked about them recently and obviously those also need to be read so like I said I'll list up here in the cards that haul video for you why do I own so many books now we have a bunch of books from my favorite publisher ever and that would be Orbit. The first one we have is Torn by Rowena Miller. Like I said I'm not 100% sure on what that one's about. I have Age of Assassins by RJ Barker. I've heard good things about this but still haven't been able to read it. I don't know what it is with me and like not reading books that I own because I'll go to the library and pick up like 17 more but won't read the things that I already own. Um, I have The Winter Road by Adrian Selby. I actually already started this but I do need to finish it. Um, I don't even remember what it's about because I started reading it like middle of last year so obviously I need to sort my shit out and finish it. And then I have Ancillary Justice by Anne Leckie. Leaky, lucky. Um, this is a sci-fi, I believe. Orbit does a lot of fantasy and sci-fi, and all of it is adult. So if you're looking for good recommendations, definitely check them out because I think that they have. I mean, they do have some of my absolute favorite books that I've ever read. So if you're looking for a good publisher, I would go with them. The next book I have is the second book in a series, and, and it would be Realm of Ash by Tasha Suri. I've actually already read the first one. is called Empire of Sand, um, and really liked it. It's like sort of a. I don't want to say Middle Eastern, but kind of Middle Eastern love story but also a cool fantasy novel at the same time there's a bit of magic a lot of death that kind of thing. Uh, the next book I have here is The Unlikely Escape of Uriah Heep. This was a book that was sent to me that from Orbit. Most of these were actually sent to me from Orbit which makes me feel so much guilt that I still haven't read them um, but this one is about I believe it's like a not retelling but it's like a character who lives within books and like the retelling of those characters I'm pretty sure I just remember reading it like reading the synopsis and being like oh yeah that's totally something I would read but totally isn't something that I have read yet and the next thing I have here is a boy and his dog at the end of the world this was also said to me as you can tell it is an arc um available April 2019 still haven't read it it is a post-apocalyptic book so it may take me a while to get to it considering the current climate but it is about a man who spends the apocalypse trying to hunt down his dog or like his relationship with his dog. I've heard mixed reviews about it which I think is part of the reason why it took me so long to want to read it. Um, and then the next book I have here is Jade City by Fonda Lee. This was actually recommended to me by it's either Nicholas Eames or Alex White. I asked both of them some books they'd recently read uh, that they truly enjoyed and this was one of them but I can't remember who recommended it to me. If I can find the video where I 
get a haul based on their recommendations I'll list it up here for you guys but this is I've heard great things about and I was going to read it with AJ but AJ decided he wanted to read it by himself so now I still haven't read it so many books and I'm not even through the first shelf we're gonna have to speed this up this is the trader of the trader but Baru Cormorant I'm not even gonna fix it there's gonna be no editing um this was one that Alex White suggested I read that they thought I would really like next one is Adrift by Rob Buffard this is a science fiction novel once again sent to me by Orbit that I still haven't read um the next one is Fortuna which I can't remember I think Orbit also sent this to me this is a sci-fi book I don't remember the premise of it but I remember thinking this is one of the most gorgeous covers I've ever seen and it's a sci-fi and I want more sci-fi in my life I need to read it and never read it which is I should probably just stop saying that because it's going to be like the reoccurring theme the next book I have here is a book that I read from somebody who was recommending it I don't remember who it was somebody I follow or I saw it on a blog or something but it'd be The Vagrant by Peter Newman and there are three or four of these I think this is by Harper yeah Harper Voyager um it's a fantasy novel I don't remember if it's like like what the whole themes of the book are but I remember at the time I've had this for years I remember the time being like yes I absolutely want to read that and just so you know because I've unhauled so many books every book that I'm talking about today even though I haven't read them are obviously books that I still have some desire to read at some point I'm officially holding all of my books now next book I have here is the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo you guys have talked about this book every single person has talked about this book said it was absolutely wonderful and I still haven't read it but I will eventually get to it um, the next book I have here is The Nightingale by Kirsten Hanna. Um, Becca actually sent me this. I'll list Becca's channel down below. She got it for me for Christmas and I was so pumped and she said it was so sad but she was like a big fan of it and I, I think that's who got it for me. Or maybe she got me a different book which I think I do still also have but somebody got me this for Christmas and I was super excited to have it but at this point I don't remember who got it for me because it's been that long and I still haven't read it. The next book I have is a science novel, science fiction, um, and it is Children of Time. I think this was sent to me by someone or maybe I bought it. I don't remember but I obviously still haven't read it. This was sent to me. I believe AJ got this for me for, he actually might have gotten me Children of Time as well, but he also got me The Golem and the Genie, which is a, I want to say magical realism, maybe it's fantasy, I don't know, but it's also gigantic, but I think he read it and really liked it, so I do need to eventually get onto it. Uh, next book I have I got in a subscription box would be Queen of the Conquered. This is a book that I have been wanting to read, but I saw somebody's review and they reviewed it very negatively, so we'll see what I think of it when I do get to read it. Um, that's also by Orbit. Um, the next one that I have here is a book when I filmed authors pick my book haul this was one of them it's Tagana by Guy Gabriel K I I believe either I think Nick actually recommended that I pick up this one and it's gigantic it's one of those big floppy paperbacks that you guys know that I love like just the look at that so satisfying um but I still haven't read it because it's a really extensive fantasy series and I'm slightly terrified uh, the next one I got is another book of the month, my bad, and it would be Permanent Record by Mary H.K. Choi. This is um, an author that I have actually really like. I know people are kind of hit or miss on her writing style because she's very like sometimes tell more than show and sometimes her characters can be car kind of cardboardy, but I actually really like them and they're all of her books are gorgeous, which shouldn't make you want to keep reading them or make you want to keep them but I am interested in this story because I really did like emergency contact a lot so I'm hoping this one kind of has the same feel oh my god we finished a shelf but now I gotta get into Stephen King all right the next books I have the next like however many are Stephen King books and thou shalt not come for me because I don't give a fuck I know I need to read these I haven't read them Stephen and I have had a very weird relationship. I read a lot of them when I was younger. The ones that I have read, I read a lot of them when I was younger. And then early 20s, I started reading him again. And when I did that, I went into the Dark Tower and then started picking up like some of his older stuff, a lot of his short story collections, and then a lot of his newer stuff recently, which has put me in a pretty sour mood, as well as the fact that he cannot keep his mouth shut on Twitter. Um, so I've been kind of back and forth about it. Um, I think that my love for him has kind of been tainted, especially by people's opinions, and I was kind of letting that calm down before I went back into it because I didn't want it to taint my love for him. Um, so I do have a few. <laughs> by a few, I mean like 15. So the first one is Lizzie's Story. Tried to read it, absolutely hated it. Not actually sure why I still own it, but I am eventually going to try to read it. The next one I have is Sleeping Beauties, one of the most beautiful covers that he's ever created. A gigantic book, definitely something that I should want to read, um, but he wrote it with his son Owen King and I think I was kind of worried that that was going to change the overall feel of it, so I still haven't read it. My bad. 
just throwing stuff around here. Uh, next one is Dolores Claiborne. I haven't read this either and people said that they really liked it. I don't even know the premise of this book. Um, this is definitely a very old book that he wrote. A lot of my editions of Stephen King books are very old. You will also know that Rage is not in this collection anymore. My Stephen King book collection is the most viewed uh, video on my channel and it is because I think I had the copy of Rage but I actually sold it because divorce is expensive and I sold it for $500 because it was like in mint condition uh, and I'd had it for forever and it was like the original printing of it but it's not going to be in here and no I haven't read it so we'll just go ahead and include that as well. Last four from this pile I have Rose Matter which don't know what it's about still haven't read it. Um, Storm of the Century which I've seen the movie but have not read the book and I don't know if I'm ever going to read the book just because I know exactly what happens. And then I have, what's this one? Black House? This is him and Peter Straub. Haven't read this one either because once again, it is a book written with other people and I don't necessarily know how I feel about that. Um, and then the last one in this pile, because there are more, is The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. This is a short story, short not novella, whatever you want to call it. Still haven't read it, not 100% sure why. I should probably set this aside and read it as soon as possible. Oh, there's so many books all over the place. Now the last Stephen King books I have to talk about are going to offend a lot of people that I haven't read them. First one is Firestarter. No, I haven't read it. No, we're not going to talk about it. The next one is Carrie. No, I have not read Carrie. This is another one where I've seen the movie and was like, ah, oh, do I really need to read the book? I eventually do want to read it. Obviously books are different from movies, but the need and want and desire to read it are a bit smaller because it's like already a movie and I already know kind of what it's about. This one I started to read. I'm halfway through uh, and DNF'd it because it was boring as fuck and I'm really sad about it, but I do want to eventually finish it and it'd be Salem's Lot. Yeah, I'm one of those people. Started Salem's Lot and didn't finish it. And the last book that I have from Stephen King, because I think that that is it, is The Stand. No, I have not read The Stand. I have heard that this is like mind-numbingly boring for the amount of story that you get. This is the unedited illustrated version as well. It's the biggest book I own. It's like over a thousand pages. A bitch does not have time to read this. Oh, I also forgot. I have one more book by him that I haven't read. Let me grab the other massive Stephen King book I have. Yeah, so this is actually the biggest book that I own by him. Um, and no, I haven't read it and it would be it. I know, I know, I know. There was a period on booktube where everybody and their mom was feeling, filming like 24 hour readathons, reading all of Stephen King's It, like watching the movies, like everybody was super into it. I don't, I'm like terrified to read this book. I know it's awful, but it's so big and there's so many questionable things that happen in here and clowns fucking horrify me and the movie absolutely terrified me. Not the new one, I don't watch the new ones, but I just, I, I can't do it. I just cannot find the motivation to sit down. Somebody please, for the love of God, buddy read this with me so I have an actual reason to read it. And not just reviews on YouTube because I don't wanna force myself to read a book that I don't actually like have the motivation to read so that I'll have like a little vlog for it or whatever like no offense to anybody else who did it we all want like views but I just I don't have it in me I just don't have it in me to like read a book stop talk to everybody about it read a book stop you know like do that whole thing and give my whole thoughts I just want to like absorb it so somebody please god buddy read this freaking book with me all right the next one I have are a bit random I have the land of all the falls I'm actually listening to the audiobook of this right now so I haven't read it, but I'm currently reading it. Also, the audiobook is 31 hours long. Somebody kill me. Um, and then I have Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe. This is actually a book that Bunny sent me, and this is obviously Fried Green Tomatoes. I do want to read that. It sits next to my bed. These two are part of a series, I guess you can consider it. Also, this one has stuff all over the front of it, so we're just going to ignore that. Record of a Spaceborn Few and A Close in Common Orbit. Haven't read either of these. This is a series that you can actually read out of order, so I don't know why I haven't read them. Um, it's from A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet is the first one. I think this is called... I don't remember the name of the series, but it was one that I was really interested in because the first one is very like character based and then these ones are more like story based, which is exciting to me because I love characters, but that book, the first one, A Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, did kind of drag, so I don't know why I haven't read these. Also, I love, love, I don't know if you can tell that this is such a beautiful book cover, which as we've learned, does not make a good book. I'm not going to get them out, but I do also have Charmbreaker, Soulbinder, Queenslayer, and Crownbreaker, which is the series by Sebastian de Castell. I'm on the second one, have read the first one, so I'm making my way through it, but still haven't read them, and I'm not getting them out because they are buried so deep on that bookshelf that I could not have, even if I tried. Uh, the next one is Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Kind of afraid to read this. Sam loved it. Uh, thoughts on Tomes, I'll leave her channel down below. 
but I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it because I don't know if I like whimsical books like this but then I also do like whimsical books like this but then everybody I know that did read it that wasn't Sam didn't like it so now I'm afraid to read it and it just sits in its beautiful glory on my shelves and maybe I should have unhauled it but it was also a new purchase so I was like afraid to get rid of it. The one and only Sarah J Mass book that I haven't read, Kingdom of Ash. I had actually started listening to the audiobook and I think I got like 25% of the way through it and had to set it down. I'm thinking about just rereading the whole series because I don't think this one's going to affect me as much as I want it to because this series is my one of my favorite series of all time. I don't care what anyone says. I know I'm a grown ass woman who reads horror and like adult novels and blah 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 but I love this series and I really want it I really want to like absorb the whole thing so I'm, I think I'm just gonna like reread the series to get my palette wet again to really absorb this one. And then I have Swords and Fire series by Melissa Caruso so I have The Tethered Mage and The Defiant Heir. I think there's a third one I don't own it these were sent to me from Orbit. I'm gonna put those back in the Orbit pile so they can go on the Orbit you definitely need to read right now shelf. Um, the next one I have is my Dragon Age book. This is The Masked Empire. I haven't read it. I think I started to read it or put it in like a TBR or something but never got around to it which is really sad. Dragon Age is one of my favorite franchises. One of the most extensive stories. Dragon Age Inquisition hands down probably top two favorite video games of all time. Um, it's really hard to choose but I still haven't read the book because this takes place in Orlais which is not my favorite place in the book in the movies because Orlais is like France. They're like the French um kind of feel to it which is fine but these assholes are super super pompous and I don't know if that's gonna be something that I necessarily want to like enjoy right now. All right we're getting into some weird books. I have Altered Carbon uh which obviously they made into a show which I haven't seen and have not read. Shame on me. I have Little Fires Everywhere which is another one of those most beautiful covers ever. This blue is like my favorite color of blue. I absolutely love it but I don't know anything about the book. Although I think they did turn it into a show. Then I have The Poet X by Elizabeth Acevedo. This is a book that somebody sent for me. I think, oh god who sent it to me? Fuck I can't remember but I really really wanted this and I really really wanted to read it and I never fucking read it which tends to be the overall theme of my life. This book is a book that I am so sad that I have not read because I actually got an arc from NetGalley for it like before it came out and I was super pumped, sat down to read it, couldn't get into it which is sad because this author writes Nanoth opens the door to the universe which is one of my favorite books of all time and this book has a lot of that feel to it. I just wasn't in the right mindset to read it and it's where I end and you begin and I think this is like a gender bending like two characters switch places and then they find that they do one of them finds they do like living in the other's body and I think there might be some trans rep in here. Um, Preston's really good about that so they wrote a great book and I want to read the great book. I already know I'm gonna love it but I, I can't read it like what this is like the never-ending thing for creators and like book lovers like we're just never like I want to read this book why am I not reading this book tell me someone anyone all right so I lied I found another Stephen King book The Talisman him and Peter Straub I haven't read that one either don't even know what that one's about to be honest now we're gonna get into Michael my Michael Crichton collection I, I love when people call him Crichton it's Crichton it's like silent <laughs> but I haven't read Five Patients which apparently is a phenomenal book and I don't know why I haven't read it. I haven't read Disclosure because they made it in a movie and I think the movie scared the living shit out of me. Um, the Andromeda Strain. Yeah, I haven't read The Andromeda Strain. Also, I love that these are my super shitty paperbacks. Congo. Haven't read this either. Another classic that people really like. Um, Timeline, which I've heard good things about. What well, Literally, I've heard every good thing that you can possibly say about Michael Crichton, but still haven't read a lot of his stuff. What I have read, I did really like. Look, I've read Jurassic Park. That's literally all that matters. Um, and then I haven't read Micro. It's him and Richard Preston, which we know how I feel about books with multiple authors. Um, and then I have not read this, which has two books that I already own. It's three complete novels, but it has The Andromeda Strain, which I own in paperback, and The Terminal Man, and The Great Train Robbery. I haven't read these either. I swear, I've read Michael Crichton. I do like him. Just, I just haven't... I have so many of his books. I have almost as many of his books as I do of Stephen King and I'm not even like that big of a fan. Okay, I'm just gonna, not gonna, I'm not gonna hold these up one by one but I am going to hold them all up. I have The Other Land series by Tad Williams. Oh, I can't breathe. When I moved back to Ohio five years ago, um, a coworker of mine was like, oh my God, you'd love this series and I never read it and 
I don't know why. Maybe because it was like a big fantasy series and I wasn't like digging fantasy at the time and now it's an adult fantasy series and it's very extensive with four novels, but this sounds like something I'm really gonna like now, so I need to get around to actually reading it. Or unhauling it, one of the two. All right, now the last two books that I have not read. We have All the Ugly and Wonderful Things. This is the book that Becca sent me that I thought she sent me The Nightingale, but she actually sent me this one because her adorable note is still inside of it because I save the notes when people send me books. So this one is about drugs and like trying to get through it and make something better of yourself. And she said it was going to absolutely break me, but that I was going to love it. So I'm glad she sent it to me. And the last book I have here is a book that Sam sent me. Sam doesn't make YouTube videos anymore. She's actually a new mom and she's like soaking it up. So I don't judge her for that, but she did send me this and I'm sad because it's just gonna forever remind me of the fact she doesn't make videos anymore. But it'd be The Tiger's Daughter. This is from Tor. I also really like Tor. Trying to get on their like blogger list, like Tor, if you're seeing this, I would uh, like to talk to you. I would love to get more of their stuff. Um, but this is a book that I've had for a while that I haven't read that she said I would like. Pretty sure it's gay too, which, you know, immediately makes me want to read it even more. But those are all the books that are on my shelves. Well, that were on my shelves because currently they are just all over my bed and my chair and stuff that I have not read. Now, like I said, there's going to be a bookshelf tour that I will eventually be doing um, later on this week that you guys will get to see the rest of my shelves and all the books that I have read. I will say with all my books off my shelves, I've definitely read three fourths of the books that I own. Um, it doesn't look like it because there's obviously a lot of books. This video is gonna be like a half an hour long, but I've read so many more books than I showed you guys today. Like I said, I've read at least three fourths of what I own. So that's really cool. But hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below the next book that you have on your TBR that maybe you've had for forever or just a book that you've had for forever that you know you eventually want to read but can't like find the time or like the desire to read right now. I'd really like to know but I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. God, I do not want to clean this room right now. There's so many books everywhere. Ugh. Why am I holding giant cactuses you might ask? Because this is another thing that I've been really enjoying. I made a terrarium? No. I made this, whatever this is. I, you guys know, have always really been into plants. I did get a couple of new plants recently and Rocco and I one day were like, you know what, we're just gonna, well, I decided we were gonna garden. So we started 